Hi, I'm Denise Huftelin, President at Salt Lake Community College, and I want to welcome you to our 27th annual President's Art Show. Despite COVID, we have hung a beautiful show, and I hope you'll have a chance to experience it. We have our awards as usual, and this year we have 83 different pieces, each one from a different local artist. It is an amazing show, and I've had a lovely time wandering around looking at all these amazing artists and what they can do. I want to thank our art committee, especially Judy Fisher, who is serving as the chair this year. And I want to thank our facilities and custodial crew and all those involved who have helped hang the show and make this space so beautiful and have the right environment for all of us to enjoy such gorgeous art. In particular, I want to acknowledge James Walton for his dedication and determination to make this a spectacular show. This is James's first year of managing the show from beginning to end and he did not disappoint. So it's my pleasure to share the President's Award winner this year. As usual, it was very difficult for me, as it always is. This year, I have chosen a piece called Spring by Julie Strong. I love this piece. It's very unique, it's very detailed and amazing, and I hope you'll get a chance to see it up close because there's more to it than meets the eye. I also want to introduce our Community Award judges, Daryl and Rosalind Drage from Brushworks Gallery. We're thrilled to have them as our community judges this year, since Brushworks Gallery has made a remarkable contribution to the local art community for many years. So thanks to Daryl and Rosalind for their good judgment in giving the Community Art Award. The composition itself works well. I like the uh cat being centered and of course the cat is the subject on this and the um, the pearl earrings I just love that as a as an accent and the application of doing the portrait in full makeup you know it's like the makeup is really done really well on this piece um, but the background the colors and uh, especially the way the paint is applied. I think it's just, I think it's an amazing piece. I'd also like to announce the Dennis Klaus Honorary Award. You may remember that Dennis Klaus is Vice President for Finance and Administration Emeritus, and while he was with us at the college, he was an avid art enthusiast. So as part of his retirement, we gave him the honor of selecting an award at every art show. This year, Dennis has chosen Violet Rose by Courtney Hart. Congratulations, Courtney. I'm excited to present Be Heard in second place for her piece, Deflation of the Flesh, a piece made of balloons and thread, which was hand-stitched over the course of five months. We selected this piece for its intricate craftsmanship, attention to detail and uniqueness of its material, concept, and design. So we picked Lacey Black's Lunch Break as the best in show. It's a paper collage and we picked it because of its incredible level of skillfulness and detail. You can see in this collage, um, it has so much depth to it. It's just such an incredible demonstration of craftsmanship in this work. The artist has rendered places where you see the interior of the buildings, you see the reflection of an outdoor environment, you see scale and depth, and I think there's something a little bit nostalgic about this piece in a way that this was created in 2021, which is, is this year, and 
Thinking about people in a bustling city, urban environment during the pandemic, it's something we're all longing for, is that human connection and these types of environments that we're really missing from our lives in some ways. And so that was something that spoke to us as well. But it's just an incredible, incredible um, work of art and definitely worthy of Best in Show. The show will run October 29th through November 11th, and we hope you have a chance to come visit us. If you can't join us in person, please check the link in the description, and you can see a 3D virtual tour of the amazing show. Thanks again to all of our artists and to all of you for joining us.